All right, here's a quick video to show you how to set up your Eventide H9 to work with Pilot Wave, Step Audio's MIDI effect sequencer. So the first thing to do is to connect your H9 to your computer or your phone and open the H9 control app. Once you're there, down on the bottom right, click on pedal settings. Now once you're on pedal settings, we're gonna go up to the first tab here, which is general settings. Click on that. And we're gonna change bypass enabled, which is the second one down here. We're gonna say yes. Okay, then you hit the back button. The next one, bypass mode. The default's DSP, just make sure that it's set to DSP. You don't wanna use relay because we're gonna be switching effects on and off really quickly. And if you use a relay to do that, you have a good chance of burning it out. So put it on DSP, hit back. Then kill dry audio should be no. Global Tempo, no, and Global Mix, no. Again, these should be the defaults, but if they're not, go ahead and change them. And then go down to Routing down here at the bottom and make sure that's set to Normal. Again, that's the default, so that's how it should be set. Then hit Back. Then the other thing we need to change is MIDI Settings. So click on MIDI Settings. And the first thing we need to do is make sure the MIDI channel is set to 14. That's to channel all the quick start presets for Pilot Wave are set to. So go ahead and click on MIDI receive channel and make sure it's set to 14 and hit back. Next, we're going to assign MIDI CC messages to pedal functions. CCs are control changes and they're numbers that Pilot Wave sends to your pedal to control different parameters. So we have to make sure the numbers on the H9 line up with the numbers that Pilot Wave sends. So click on Assign MIDI CC Messages. And we don't need to use them all, but the ones that are important for Pilot Wave are Tap Tempo. So click on that and set it to MIDI CC 64. That's what we're gonna use for tap. Hit back. Then Performance Switch, set that to 67. MIDI CC 67. That's also called the Hot Switch or Flex if you're using a Pitch Factor setting. So hit back, bypass, you want to make sure that's set to CC65, and activate MIDI CC66, and we'll scroll down a bit here. Then left foot switch, set that to MIDI CC34. Then the expression pedal value, we're going to set that to MIDI CC11 because that's the standard expression pedal value for MIDI. It's probably something different when you get your H9, but make sure you set it to 11 here. So hit back. And another thing I forgot to mention, all this information is over on the Quick Start page. There's a table of these numbers, so you can refer to that if you don't want to have to keep watching the video. Head over to our Quick Start page on stepaudio.net under the Support tab and click on your pedal, click on the H9, and you'll see a table that lists all these numbers. So you can just follow along with that. But we'll continue here. So then we have 10 parameters, set parameter one through set parameter 10. And they're pre-assigned to 22 through 31. So parameter one's 22, parameter two's 23, et cetera, down to parameter 10, which is 31. If they're not, go ahead and change those. And then the looper values we're gonna set. And for record, we're gonna set that to MIDI CC 50, play 51, stop 52, looper empty set to 53, flip direction 54, and flip octave 55. Then finally on input and output volume, they might be set to 32 and 33, but we wanna go ahead and change those to MIDI CC 41 for the input volume and 42 for the output volume. This is because 32 is actually a reserved value in MIDI for another purpose. So, so make sure input volume is 41 and output volume is 42. And hit back. And then we're gonna go to MIDI clock here, which is the fourth tab down. 
and make sure all three of these say no. We're not going to use MIDI clock for the H9 because we're going to send tempo values from Pilot Wave to the H9 that are independent of MIDI clock. So set all three of those to no, including enable MIDI clock input. Then hit back. And then MIDI output mode. Click on that and make sure it's set to through. There's a jack on the side of the H9 that allows you to daisy chain another MIDI device. So if you have this set to through, what comes in at the input from Pilot Wave will be repeated out that output and you can send it downstream to another device. So make sure that's set to through and then hit back. And there you go. As soon as you make these changes, they're sent to the H9 so you don't have to do anything else. Now when we go to the Pilot Wave preset programmer to set up presets for the H9, all you have to do is click on Eventide, then find the H9 program that you want to use, for example, Pitch Factor, Pitch Flex, and then the parameter that you want to control. And all these numbers that we just set up with the H9 control app will line up with what Pilot Wave is sending. Again, this information's over on the Quick Start page, so if you don't want to watch this video again, head over there and you'll find it.